Hi there, welcome back to the Weekend Up Earnings Grads YouTube channel. And today, we're at the old truck again. Okay, so it's been a little while since we had a post on the truck. Um, we've been working on it the whole time. It, uh, uh, we've been skidooing a lot too, but anyway, we've been working on the truck the whole time. But anyway, uh, give a little uh, preview. So right now, we're at the radiator. We're just uh, welded a piece in the mouth here now. Uh, Cross member, put the radiator on. Got some uh, little rubber on top and bottom of it. And uh, we got to figure out uh, some people way to hold the front off. I gotta obviously they're not gonna jam the wrench against the motor. But in the meantime, if you haven't uh, see, we got like uh, battery cables ran, and uh, we spent a bit of time in here. I got the piece uh, shaved off the steering calendar, and uh, we've been uh, dimmer switch headlights. Uh, starter switch or in a that uh, you picked for the other day and I uh, picked this up it's a much smaller uh, uh, gas pedal than what was on the truck more compact I should just be able to cut the bracket and put it on but meantime if you're building if you're building something let's take it out for a second you think about that there now you get the yeah. when you bolt it on back of here it was a uh, you know the, bo the booster and the master cylinder but this here got the gas pedal on the side of it brake pedal obviously the obviously the electric uh, for the for the gas pedal uh brake light switch all one assembly pretty well put this on and uh you're pretty good then the only uh, the only issue uh, we would have is that uh, the steering column sort of passes Right down through here on our on our setup, but uh, not everything is going to be the same as ours. But anyway, uh, I don't know unless you can uh, show a bunch of stuff down back here, uh, fuel cell, battery, uh, exhaust change, tailpipes on it, and you can see over there uh, got a lot of a lot of stuff down there. <coughs> Turn it on for a minute. So we're still borrowing some stuff up here to get it uh, straightened up. A little better in here anyway. But anyway, yeah. and whatever wires we got, we got them going over here. Um, okay. So uh, really, uh, what we're all right for now. Once we mount up that gas pedal. Uh, we got the hose for the radiator. I uh, got to get a heater into it and uh, transmission lines. And uh, other than that, we're, we're doing pretty good. With it. I had uh, I had uh, this uh, sort of laid onto a little bit, and I had the front on it last night. And anyway, uh, just trying to see how this goes. That's the position the guy has to be in. <coughs> so anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to take uh, going to take the nose cone eventually. Uh, the nose cone is going to be uh, welded on this in one piece. So uh, when it goes on, it'll be uh, other than the other than the hood, which will take on and off. But other than that, the side will be one piece. But anyway, um, see if we can do something with here, and uh, take back at it shortly. Okay, so we got a little bit more work done there now. Let me take a little look. 
So you see we got some uh, foam there, top and bottom, and not, not as on, we haven't tightened completely down yet, but anyway. And we came up here and we put a, a rod here, as you can see we bent it in a little bit towards the motor. And uh, kind of weld it here, weld it here, and pre weld on the same thing on the other side, the support, so it's uh, good and strong there anyway. Now I was uh, left it done now, we gotta get the fan installed on it, start getting some of the wiring done for the fan. And here are a few minutes, and we got the fan on the back of the radiator. And just saying, you just push the through, put the pieces on. Uh, yep. So now, I just uh, get some wiring hooked up to that. And just to make sure uh, it's pulling, and then we'll ground the uh, ground the wire that got to be grounded, and run the other one back to the relay in the cab. Hey, so uh, Bernie back again. Yeah. So uh, every little video now, a couple of weeks we've been busy, uh, more than just on the snowmobile. But anyway, we uh, have been worked on the truck. Let's take a little look at where we left off. A little bit more of an update on to it. So, see there we got our uh, 90 degree elbow in here for our uh, mass here. We got to get another one, move that somewhere somewhere else after. The radiator's in, mounted. All the heater hoses are done. This is the thing that I usually make here. It uh, comes off the front of them uh, coolant bypass crossover, and I usually mount a mechanical gauge in here. So, they're all on. Uh, bottom red hose is on. Uh, plug floors are into it. <coughs> and uh, we've uh, we've been, you know cleaning up most of the stuff. We got the front fenders bolted on. I don't know if it's going to be the last time, but they're, they're bolted on now. The up, these here are, are put in place. <coughs> and uh, right now we're two action sensors and the the program and the HP tuners from getting it running. Uh, everything is clued up with the, with the fuel lines, system, the ignition, the wiring. It should be all ready. So if I guess the action sensors in another little while we'll uh, probably get a smile for you if they're firing up anyway. But uh, you know, it's starting to look pretty good. I, uh, we, we're doing this, we end up having to move this bear down here again. I'm planning on putting something here like a uh, for like a bump or a tight piece or something, but uh, coming on pretty nice. Uh, in the meantime, show us where the stuff we got done. We're over here on the square body, we go over here, and uh, we uh, upgrade the turbo. It's a GT45, I don't know. Uh, still hooking up a catch can over here, and uh, just some stuff that. Wasn't uh, got a newer, smaller uh, windshield washer bottle that I put onto it, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get rid of the Gatorade bottle after for the overflow bottle. See if we can something a bit tidier put in there anyway. But uh, anyway, I uh, figured to give a, a bit of a video showing uh, where we're at. Really. I haven't loaded any up now in a little while, but uh, you know it's uh, getting close to running and driving. Actually, for the, the truck to be uh, other than uh, you know pr uh, finished primary, what's left obviously is glass, and it's uh, uh, gotta get to the headlights for it. Uh, something to stick out on the fenders, <coughs> and a uh, heater, uh, some type and wiper system. That's mostly the the big stuff. But we're going to get running before uh, before that. That's just. And the shifter. We don't have a shifter for the floor yet. Uh, I'll see what I'm going to put on it anyway. But uh, uh, gauges and some stuff there too. So it's, it's quite a, still quite a bit of stuff left. But you know, gas pedal is in. That one we were showing. You can see it there. All in, wired in. And uh, we didn't mount the module up yet. Uh, I think we're going to screw the module probably onto the heater box when we get it. Just, uh, mm, just laid there right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 
So, anyway, uh, a little update video. I got a show. Um, no, still, uh, you're still on uh, with trying to get dropped on for next couple of months anyway. So, anyway, uh, like what you see here, comment, like, subscribe. And for Weekend at Bernie's Garage YouTube channel, we will see you next time.